to school shopping season from August and September is the second busiest for U.S. retailers after Christmas. American students are stocking up on items as they head back to school, and it's believed sales could rise to record highs this season. But retailers are not taking those projections for granted. Karina Huber has the details. J.C. Penney and other retailers are paying big bucks to attract shoppers in the back-to-school season. The nation's fourth largest department store chain is offering $10 million worth of free haircuts to kids who walk through its doors. Teen retailer Abercrombie & Fitch is giving out 1,000 free iPads to its shoppers and a free trip to Milan and Paris. After lackluster sales and a drop in earnings in the first half of this year, retailers are doing everything they can to encourage consumers to loosen their purse strings. There's a little bit of momentum, there's life out there, but we do think it will come later in the season, meaning it'll be closer to need, closer to when schools start. Students like to show off their new outfits on those first days of school, making apparel king in the back to school season. School supplies and electronic equipment like computers also tend to sell well. The National Retail Federation, an industry trade organization, expects sales to rise 22% in the period to top $83 billion. That's the biggest amount since the NRF began collecting such data. It cites pent-up demand and a growing student population for the boost in sales. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, the number of students enrolled in preschool through 12th grade will likely rise by 159,000 this year to a record 54.9 million. The number is expected to keep rising as the population increases. There may be a record number of students enrolled in school this year, but it was also the toughest it's been in decades for them to find a summer job. Teen employment is the weakest since 1964, since the Beatles first performed here in the United States. So they're relying a lot on their parents to pay for their expenses and parents are not feeling a beat about the economy at all. Whether or not parents will brush aside their concerns about the 8.3 percent unemployment rate and buy their loved ones the latest fashions remains to be seen. But experts unanimously say consumers are still hunting for bargains. So those incentives look like money well spent on the part of retailers. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.